Your video was so touching, I couldn't even watch the whole video. I saw this report on the news, I think, last week. I didn't do a story about this because I can't. I'm tired of perpetuating the stereotype. We know this happened. We know somebody innocent was killed. I saw the melee, people running up, people hitting people with heads and heads with sticks and and I saw the whole thing on tape. But I can't talk on that. They said there was tension because they were closing down schools, kids from this school and kids from that school, you know, and the only place they didn't hang out is at that youth center they was at. And animosity. Senseless violence. You ain't supposed to be in this part of the neighborhood. Similar to when people uh, from Louisiana started spreading out throughout the United States after Katrina. There was people hating on those people from Katrina whenever they hit a new town. Um, there was a little Katrina hatred going on uh, for about a year. Um, you, we hear stories like this every day in California. A uh, young honor student, you know, shot to death and, you know, it happens. And I stopped watching it when you said it's time for us to turn our backs and start, you know, ignoring the vermin. You must understand and realize one thing. Every one of those little kids in that fight was a little kid. Most of their actions are learned actions. People learn how to act stupid. People have been taught that. You have to understand that in the black community, the elders have left the village. If you have a bunch of children raising a bunch of children, this is what happens. Chaos. If the average parent of these kids were fighting is under 40, and you think about it, you know, the mindset of the black youth is corrupted through the media, through video games, and basic peer pressure. Um, we've been taught that the best way to get it is go get it on your own. The hustle, you gotta hustle, you gotta scheme, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Growing up, we were taught to survive. And that survival instinct has spilled over. And yes, America is raising savages. They're uneducated, they're unwilling to work in a structure and they're unwilling to compromise. These are children with the mentality, shoot first, ask questions later. That is a taught, that you have to be taught to be like this. You know what I mean? In the black community, we have a Lord of the Ring, Lord of the Flies, sorry, situation going on. The strong survive, dog eat dog. And it's all for nothing. These kids nowadays, their first priority is not education. Their second priority is not making sure they got a job. The third priority is not making sure that their family is safe. And the fourth priority, they just don't give a damn. And that's their number one main priority. I don't give a damn. This is mine. Let me get my blunts and my drinks and live my life. Life is so tough, I don't give a damn if I die right now. And they don't. When I was a kid, I used to tell people, I already lived my life. I've been here thousands of years. There's nothing that you can do that can hurt me any worse than I've already been. And that mentality kept me alive this long. But that's not the mentality for the world in which we live in. We as a people, not just black people, but all people, should understand that the children are the future. A crime against a child, any child, no matter what color, no matter what size, no matter how smart or dumb that kid may be, a crime against a child is a crime against the future of all humanity. And when such crimes are perpetrated by other children, that leads us to one thing. What have we done wrong as adults? I remember when I was going to school, I did something, and the principal called my grandmother. We're going to spank him. You can't spank your kid no more. Um, you can't raise your hand to a child anymore. 
when I was growing up, I used to hear stories about the little kids, you know, calling the police on their parents and stuff. And as I grew older, that was more and more prevalent. Parents are scared of their children now. Period. Those parents who are willing to put the foot down that kid's ass when a kid acts up are the first ones that CPS is called on. He's yelling at that kid in public. We need to call CPS. I can't believe she slapped that boy in his face. We need to call CPS. The days of whooping that kid's ass is over. And now the kids whoop our asses, run up and down the street. They create violence. They create crime because they don't know no better. Because all they have been taught is violence, ignorance, and selfishness. No matter what color, no matter what shape, that's what they teach. That's what they learn. And that's what they spread throughout their own little social circles. They have sex parties. These are children. They do drugs. They hold guns. They steal cars. They rape and murder. No matter what color they are. Because I know what you're thinking. But this is a taught. They've been taught this. If you can't see what I'm saying, or you don't understand, or somebody doesn't understand, it is pitiful that this little boy got killed. And it's a little boy down the street right now getting killed, just like him. There's a little girl around the corner just like him being raped by some 45-year-old man. There's some little boy being raped by some 50, 60-year-old man. See, these kids turn to us for everything. When we look at them, with our busy schedules, tell them to go in the room, call me TV, get out of my face, I'm tired. And we teach them to be little adults. And these little adults run amok with no responsibilities, no sense of responsibility. They don't know when they're hurting somebody. That's what they've been taught on the video game. You get up real close and you bash them in the head. Sneak up from behind them. Slit their throats. Sh shoot them from long distance. A sniper rifle. We have been taught violence from day one. We've been taught selfishness from day two. And on day three, they started exploiting everybody. We can't fix it. This generation after mine is lost. I think I'm Generation Y, they're Generation X. What's next? My condolence go out to this boy's family. My prayers go out to every person hurt in that melee. The plight of our youth is on a path of self-destruction on a road to nowhere. They're the new stereotype. The savage black kids who don't give a damn about nobody. Look at these black savages. We as a people here in the United States of America must learn to teach our children something other than violence, sex, and drugs. But until then, we're going to have innocent kids like this young man right here dying every day in every city, in every town in America. We have to stop sitting back on the sidelines and actually try to teach these kids something before it's too late. So, I don't know if this was the right video to respond to because it was so powerful. Touch me.